the link between eating disorders and depression. Although a lot of research has been done on eating disorders, there is no simple answer as to why some people suffer from them while others do not. If it was just about the media images of thinness and beauty we are bombarded with, then we would have all we would all have food issues. If it was only about traumatic life events, then every child whose parents divorced with would be anorexic. It's just not it's just not that simple. It's very hard to look back and see what caused my eating disorder or my depression. I think part of it is genetic and part of it was situational as and a bunch of things were happening at the same time and it wasn't de and I wasn't dealing with them. I wasn't talking to anyone. I didn't really have a lot of support. I'm on Prozac now. It's the main drug I've been on since I was 16, but since going to university and with the eating disorder under control, I've still dealt with a lot of depression. I still think it is, it's all related though. I am happy that food is no longer an addition or whatever, but it never really totally goes away because I still struggle with depression from time to time. It's hard. Heather tw at 23. It is known for, that adolescents who suffer from depression and anxiety are at greater risk for developing an eating disorder. This does not mean that if you are depressed or anxious, you will automatically develop an eating disorder. It just means that since your chances are statistically greater, you need to watch out. This also means that if you have a friend who you think is depressed, you might also want to keep an eye on their eating behaviors. This can be a little tricky because depression can mess with your appetite, often making you want to eat less, but this is not the same as an eating disorder. So don't jump to any immediate conclusions, it's just something else to consider. Food that can affect your mood. Sugar and carbohydrates raise serotonin levels by increasing the absorption of tritrotan in the brain. Low levels of serotonin have been linked to depression, so low carb, low sugar diets may actually be bad for your mood. It is believed that people who live in the Mediterranean have less depression than North Americans because they eat so much fish which is high in omega-3 fatty acids. There is evidence that a diet that a high, diet high in omega-3 fatty acids has a positive impact on your mood. Caffeine dra drains energy and stimulates anxiety. Alcohol is equally hard on your body some people believe that depression is actually your body's response to be to it to you using it it's telling you to give it a break